Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet X News. It is June 11th, 2017. Very, very interesting article that was posted on the NASA website on June 9th. And the title reads, Hubble Applauds Waltzing Dwarfs. Well, basically, ladies and gentlemen, a team of Italian astronomers have been watching and researching and investigating two brown dwarf stars. Approximately, I think it was five or six light years away. But does it really matter? Because whenever we are researching these brown dwarf stars, we've been talking about their movement, how powerful they are, the dynamics of brown dwarf stars, and over a course of three years, they took a series of 12 photographs using the Hubble. What you're seeing on your screen right now are two brown dwarf stars that are basically connected to each other. And they're kind of orbiting around each other. They're basically locked in together. It's pretty interesting that NASA would put this information out. I know NASA monitors probably everything that we do. Who knows? They probably troll the Nibiru and Planet X YouTube channels, trying to change people's minds and perspective on what is occurring. But yet they'll put the information out there, but they will put it six light years away. Well, in all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, who cares what is six light years away? And can we even believe them that this is the distance of the two brown dwarf stars that we see in their very elegant waltz orbiting around each other? Now, this is only a series of 12 photographs overlaid to produce the imaging. It's pretty neat. I want to get a little bit of a closer look, so we're going to go ahead and blow this up a little bit. Let's try to get it into the frame here. There you go, there's a closer look. Now I can't slow the motion down, but you can clearly see these two brown dwarf stars. Apparently the Hubble Space Telescope has the photographic technology on board to take these pictures. Now, these two objects actually look very, very bright discovering early on that these brown dwarf stars only emit infrared light. So the possibilities of this, this recording and these photographs being taken, well, apparently they must have been taken in infrared light. I'm not sure of the actual technique that they used to take these photographs over the course of three years. It took three years for these 12 photographs. But you can clearly see whenever we talk about the brown dwarf stars having an attraction to other stars or other stars having the attraction to the brown dwarf stars. Here you see two brown dwarf stars locked, locked tightly in orbit with each other. Now I've mentioned many, many times before I watched a seminar and a conference basically of astrophysicists and astronomers and scientists and physicists from Harvard University. I watched three hours of this conference and they were going over all of the current information over the past 10 years in researching of brown dwarf stars. They showed that they actually have found them in clusters, clusters of brown dwarf stars 
and each one of those brown dwarf stars had orbiting exoplanets or planets orbiting around each and every one of those stars. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm saying, the theory of Nemesis, Nibiru, Planet X, well, it's all possibly very, very true from that perspective. But we've already shown a lot of research and evidence that the possibilities of multiple brown dwarf stars and other planetary objects, they are in our solar system. They're here. We see the interactions on the sun. We've talked about this many, many times. But I thought this was a great opportunity to show everyone that these brown dwarf stars will interlock with each other or another star. Now, they won't do that with a planet. However, they can pull in exoplanets and other planets, lock them into an orbit. Pretty interesting article coming out of NASA. And again, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. I don't know if, uh, <laughs> you know, what they're what they're telling us as far as the light years away. Well, you know, I can't. I can't guarantee that's true. They say it's approximately, I think, six light years away. You know, and what interest would that really be? Six light years away. Now, this is a still image where they've framed it so you can see this pattern, how these brown dwarf stars are actually orbiting and bouncing around in the waltz as they say. So let me go ahead and get this over here for you so you can see it a little more clearly. Bring this to a full screen. And there you go. So basically, this is kind of the pattern that these two brown dwarf stars participate in, locked in together. Now, looking right here, right there, there seems to be another planetary object right there. Matter of fact, while we're here, let me get a screenshot of that. Thought it was a very interesting article that we should all pay attention to. If you yourself are investigating uh, Planet X, the theories of Planet X, I'll leave a link to this article. You should read it. It was very, very interesting information. I believe they had one other photograph attached to this article. Let's go down and check it out. I'm pretty sure they did. Oh, the next article was Hubble. Hubble astronomers develop a new use for a century-old relativity experiment to measure a white dwarf's mass. So I believe this was what they were looking at. And this is what Hubble picked up. So I believe this would be the white dwarf. In all honesty, you know, I'm wondering what type of photography they're using to capture these images because for a dwarf star that's not supposed to give off any light it looks like it's given off quite a bit of light but again they could be taking this imagery in infrared and i'm sure that's probably what they're doing or some other type of technique to capture this white dwarf star but it was very very interesting i thought that i would bring this to everyone's attention and like i said i'll leave a link to this article and this page from NASA so everyone can view it. This is Scott from Planet X News. Thank you very much for watching.